Shalom, brothers and sisters. So I'll start by saying I've never been a big fan of Blinken from what I've seen and heard, but this is this is a good one. Blinken ruffles feathers by stating that the U.S. does not support Taiwan independence after meeting China's Xi. Secretary of State Blinken raised eyebrows Monday telling reporters the U.S. does not support Taiwan independence. Blinken's statement ruffled many Republicans in Congress specifically who viewed the statement and the Secretary's inability to re-establish military-to-military communications as an inappropriate kowtow to America's greatest adversary. Blinken flew to Communist China to appease Xi Jinping and state that the Biden administration does not support Taiwan's independence. Senator Marsha Blackburn on Twitter said, Why won't this administration stand up to bullies and stand for freedom? Because they're afraid and they know that if this comes to blows in the current state of the uh, American military affirming each other and learning pronouns, it's not going to end well at all. And China is past the point of no return. They have got... U.S. carrier mock-ups in the desert that they've been practicing bombing the snot out of. They've got fake uh, harbors that they've built of American coastlines that they've been practicing on. They're preparing for war and not with Taiwan. They'll deal with Taiwan when they want to. It's going to be a quick one in my opinion. They're preparing for war with America and making sure that their first strike capability is in line with possibly a Pearl Harbor situation from World War II. They've learned from history they're planning accordingly, and they're playing the game in the meantime. Now, unfortunately, while they've got their heads on straight and their minds laser-focused, Biden is saying, God save the Queen. That is not good for the country that is facing such existential threats coming at them straight on. But this has been developing and building for a while. So, again, we're seeing the actions and what's happening. I hope Taiwan's people are listening to this because when Taiwan is visiting then everyone's their best friend and supports them in all ways and and their independence but uh, now we're just reaffirming the one China thing again God bless keep looking up Shalom